Well, I'm sure you've all noticed over the years, or I guess many months, wow, it's almost been a year since I first started this channel, I have always had a problem with feedback. This microphone, as good as it is, has a lot of feedback issues. As it turns out, no, that's just because I was fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's past seven seconds, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> YouTube algorithm, I'm not even monetized, what do I care? As it turns out, uh, this XLR cable right here, as you can see, this connects to the computer itself, which is down here, you know? I was connecting it to a USB cable. XLR to USB. Big mistake. Should have never done it. I just tried this Type-C cable instead. So XLR to Type-C. And it works so much better. So much better. No feedback whatsoever. Can hear me clearly. It's not as loud as before. So what do you know? I've had this cable lying around for many months. Turns out I couldn't return it. So here I am. I'm going to be using this from now on because it sounds way fucking better. Well, let's get started with the reaction then. Just want to leave that out there. Let's go. Today I'll be watching Sword Art Online 2, Episode 8, Bullet of Bullets. So as we saw last episode, it was... Yeah, I mean... Kazuto is very traumatized from his time in SAO. They all are, let's be real. It's You gotta imagine they're, they've all gone through a lot. And we've also seen that... What is it? Shino, Shino Asada has also just so much going on in her life. And what's his name? Uh, Shinkawa is like making a move on her, but she's like, no, not now. Okay, uh, soon. All right, I promise you, soon. But I don't know what to say about it. I just like, what, what, what do we expect? We're finally here the bullet of bullets, I guess. So we're going to see this tournament. And it's only taking over the course of like two days. So it's not like SA. I think the, the original problem with the first SAO season is that it had so many time skips that it ruined everything for a lot of people. But this show, on the other hand, has no time skips, all right? It, multiple episodes in a single day. So if this is the tournament, I'm, I'm guessing this is it. You know, I'm guessing it's going to be like a 14-episode arc, and then, you know, whatever remaining 10 or 11 episodes are going to be dedicated to something else. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So in the meantime, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell, and let's get started right away. Here's the headphones. Not going to do any of that weird uh, stuff that I usually do. Just going to turn on the window capture. Full screen, and here we go. I'm sure my voice sounds way better right now. You can actually hear what I sound like without any feedback. 65 minutes remaining. There's Kirito. Now I remember what I want to put in the intro is the fact that with Death Gun, he is in fact confirmed to, to be, you know, from Laughing Coffin. And Kirito has to deal with the fact that he's killed three people. Alright, all three were from Laughing Coffin. Garrett, Kuka, Jigen, Kaede. I don't know, is Shark Knight a good name? Or should I have changed it to something else? So that's the start of the episode. Uh. I don't know, I didn't I wasn't sure how they were gonna continue this series after the first season. You know, I found out there were four seasons. I'm like, if SAO is gone, how can they really continue this? But I guess, you know, a lot happened in those two years we don't know about. So we're gonna have to deal with that, you know, one step at a time. There's things like there's Death Gun right here. You know, it's Who knows what else is gonna happen though? It is so fucking awesome to see him with that lightsaber. Okay, so I ran into a problem. I watched the last couple episodes dubbed, and I just realized her sniper's name is Hikari, not Hikare. I'm not sure. You know, I, I'm not going to look it up. I've been calling it Hikare, but... Eh. Came in here. Want to get in on this? Dude, she's going to keep ignoring you. F face it. What kind of information are we talking? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's, that's going to be what happens. She is the expert here. He's not. Wait, secret info of the players? The hell? <laughs> uh, sure. 
They still think he's, he's a sheep. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, the two ladies in the house, right? Everyone else is a man. <laughs> They're scared of him. <laughs> All right. What's he gonna do? You gonna make some kind of threat or what? That is so wrong! Come on, Kirito. <laughs> Stop letting him think you're a woman. Hell, go get your girlfriend. Let them gawk over her. I'm, I'm not encouraging that. I'm just saying, get better for that than to let them gawk over you. Ah. So they just sent you emails and you didn't read it? Dude, you're getting paid 300,000 yen for this and you're not doing your job? Wait, so they're all on the map at the same time. And I guess last one standing's the winner? So it's basically like Warzone. Yeah, it's basically just Warzone. It's just it's a little different though, because in Warzone, you land wherever you want. For the parachute. Suck at Warzone. Not necessarily. I mean, if they can spot you, can't you still be seen elsewhere? Uh, can't you? Uh, is it gonna give you the position forever? I don't think so. Yeah, I just noticed. Is her ass crack showing the entire time? It looks like it. Uh, uh, fan service, I get it, but come on. I mean, she's wearing a really skimpy outfit when you think about it. I mean, it, yeah, there's a lot of uh, skin cover. But there's also, like, certain areas that are showing. Oh, he's trying to narrow it down. Okay, so he's down to three names. Tail Rider, No No, Keith, XZ's, and, well, XYZ. Sturbin. So, yeah, pretty much. I mean, she hasn't really figured it out yet, has she? He's an SAO survivor. I'm sure every single person and their mother knows that, you know, every, every gamer and their mother knows what happened with SAO. They probably don't know the details, but they know enough. It, it, you're, you're giving yourself away here, man. Uh, I wonder how many M MMR or MMORPGs or VR MMOs have, you know, players killing each other for real. Yeah, laughing coffee. Okay, it has to be one of those guys. Or it's not Corridial. It's not one of those three he killed, so it's got to be from the graveyard. And again, maybe not. I mean, there was a large group there that day. The only one I know from that graveyard was Johnny Black. It's just because I just recently watched um, SAO Bridge, where they have a guy, and it's like, Johnny Black, meet the pocket. Like that. And it's still weird how he's holding her there. Like, is Asuna watching this? Uh. He was, and come on, you have to know it. he's talking about Sword Art Online. There's literally nothing else he could be talking about. I think she's really starting to hate him, but also sympathizing with him. She sees a connection to him. I don't know. It's just, it's just they've both been through so much. He's killed three people. He spent two years locked in a death game. Yeah, like, she can't even do that in the real world. I don't know. It's just... A lot of trauma. <laughs> so they're all putting in their bets. Yeah, that's what ends up happening with, with shit like this. And gambling is just really destructive. MMO stream. I'm guessing that's just like their version of the Twitch. But like a Twitch specifically for MMOs. Here we go.
And it's underway. Dude, you're using a scorpion from that distance? He's got a machine gun, for God's sake. Okay, stick grenade. Good idea. I, I, I mean, shooting a grenade in the in the air. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm about to address that, aren't I? I'm about to address it at the end of the video. Swinging from the vines. Who was that guy again? I saw his name earlier, but what was it? There's Sinon. No, no. Bingo. Shooting a grenade. I'm gonna have to address that at the end of the video too, aren't I? Yeah. Nine dead already. Damn. Ah, he's really getting you a little uh, crazy, isn't he? I guess so. Okay, is that right? No, it's Dine, right? Yeah, that's his name. Dean. Uh, D I I'm, I'm pronouncing it Dine. I don't know. This mo you cannot tell me you're gonna be staying there waiting for him to come to you. That's a stupid idea. Sniper right behind you. Oh shit, Kirito! Right, Pale Rider's one of the suspects. He's gotta he's gotta find out if it's actually death gun. Uh, I just realized, Kirito, you've got her in a strange position there. You might wanna you might wanna stop that before Asuna sees that. You realize he could have just killed you there if he wanted to, right? Yeah, I know you pulled out that handgun, but he still got the lightsaber. Yeah, you definitely should. That must be Pale Rider. Oh, shit, he's dodging bullets? Oh, he's one of those agility types. Acrobatic. Okay, so not agility, also acrobatic. He can dodge bullets better than Kirito. Shit. Okay, um... He didn't pull out the death gun, so I guess that's not him. That's one down. We got two more suspects, though. No, okay, so if that was him, he would have pulled out the death gut, right? Wait, what? Uh, what just happened? Oh yeah, there was no sound. Silencers are not that effective. All right. Hollywood really brainwashes people on this one. And so does video games. Like a superb military grade one's not gonna silence it. You still lose your hearing easily. Oh shit, so wait, so you can just hide in the water? That's a hack right there. You can just hide in the water, that way they can't scan you. Yeah, that tea still looks feminine with, his, with that body. <laughs> it looked like he has boobs, for God's sake. Stunball. Oh, shit. Death gun! Death gun! Okay, so it wasn't Pale Rider. I mean, it's either Sturban or the... The, the other... What was the other name? Damn it. Shit. No, 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 no. Kill him now. Kill him now. Oh, shit. You can't fucking end it like that. Come on. 
Typical Sword Art Online. Look, what what can I say? That is... Well, there's three suspects. One of them's uh, down. They need to snipe him immediately. If they don't, he's dead. He is absolutely dead in the real world. We already know how the rule works. He shoots you with that death gun, you die. All right, we don't know how he's doing it, but we know that he is doing it. And we also know he's a member of Lapping Coffin, so, you know, PKing was his, was his thing, you know. It makes sense that he, I, now I think about it, it does make sense that he tried to kill players in the real world. You know, you can't exactly recreate Lapping Coffin, so, you know, you can kill people on your own, I guess that works for you. I don't know. Kirito, seen on you. Y'all got to do something. Anyway, I guess that's about it for me. Oh, wait, I need to address the grenade thing. So, when I was in Marine Corps boot camp, I was, um, uh, what was it? The Crucible Week. Some people don't realize this, uh, if for all those of you who know about the Marine Corps, Crucible Week has five days in it, not three. All right, the first two days set you up for it. The first day is when you go to, what is it, to the gas chamber. This is at least in San Diego, California. All right. You go to the gas chamber. Then the second day, you get on that hike. All right. Third day. Wait. I might be getting this wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break it down by days. But one of the things you do is you go to different events where you learn how to check out IEDs. And the way it works is, you uh, they demonstrate to you like here's a pack of C4, here's small explosives and everything. It's like here's how you set up these uh, bombs and and all and whatnot and grenades. And so I ask a uh, I asked a corporal who was in charge of us and I said, you know, it wasn't a drill instructor. Hey, how uh. If you shoot that C4, will it explode? I sound like the stupidest person ever. Why? Well, I used to play a lot of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. In fact, I've been playing it a lot recently. I played survival mode, and one of the things I would do is I would set up claymores everywhere, and they would just go off whenever somebody, you know, hit the tripwire. But with, you know, what, what was it? With C4, it was a little different. Because with C4, you, you know, you just set it there, and then you have a remote, and then you detonate it and make it explode. And sure enough, what I uh, what I would do in the game is I would shoot the C4 and it would explode. And then that could set off other bombs or that would just help with taking out large groups. I don't really do that anymore. I found it's just a lot more effective to just keep shooting. But what I really notice is that, okay, you shoot them, they explode. So what happens if you're carrying them in like your backpack and you get shot? Sure, your body armor saves you, but what about the C4? Doesn't it explode? So I asked, you've got grenades up here. You got C4 in your pack. What, what happens? Corporal looked at me like I was a moron. He looked at me like a complete moron. He's probably a staff sergeant or a gunnery sergeant by now. Probably staff sergeant. But how, how do I put this? He said, dude, what kind of fu that is? Th these are like the most stable explosives you will ever deal with. All right. You could shoot them up a thousand times. They're not going to explode. Like, I don't know. I just play like in Call of Duty. It's like, well, that's Call of Duty. Okay. It's not real life. Okay. And I asked him, all right, well, what about grenades? Oh, well, grenades. That's a kind of a hit or miss. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, well, I mean, you could shoot it, and, like, if you shoot the pin off, it might, like, it might go off, or, like, you shoot just the right area, it'll explode. And that made me question, like, hold on, we keep grenades up here. Oftentimes, that's where they keep grenades. Like, right here, near your neck. You're telling me, you get shot up here, a grenade goes off, and it makes your face blow off? He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you cannot have that be how it happens? The fuck? And, you know, obviously, I couldn't say that out loud, because, you know, we're... We weren't in charge of the drill, like, drill sergeants weren't in charge of us right there. We, like, they were nearby, but they weren't teaching the course. And so I was just like, oh, well, well that's how that works. Oh, okay, yes, sir. Yeah, well, yeah, sir, 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 whatever. <laughs> and it, it just does that. So I'm like, why don't we carry grenades and something a little more protected? Maybe, like, keep it on the side. You're less likely to get hit on the side than you are in the chest. And he's all like, ah, you just got to deal with it. I'm like, well, that fucking sucks. Like, th that, that sounds horrible. I could blow up. But yeah. So when you're shooting those grenades in in the game, sometimes having a grenade is worse for you than just not having one. I mean, you know, grenades can only do so much for you. They're great distractions. They're great for taking out large groups. But obviously, uh, games exaggerate on what grenades are like. Hell, I remember in The Walking Dead, they threw a grenade at someone and it just caused a massive explosion. I'm like, that's not what happens. It hits you with shrapnel. You can have a grenade go off right in front of you. And as long as your, like, vital organs are protected, you'll be fine. Okay, that's why people jump on grenades, you know. It might tear them apart, it might not. I think it's enough of that, though. So, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell. And thanks for sticking around for that, uh, well, weird description of my time in Marine Corps boot camp. Yeah. Stay tuned, everybody.